Okay, turning now to Uber executives. You know the Uber hack? Do you use Uber? Well, you're probably one of millions because Uber executives say that they have been in touch with attorneys general in several states after the company covered up a hacking that actually affected more than 57 million people. That's according to Reuters. It reports the executives say that they are ready to cooperate with investigations into the cyber attack, which happened a year ago. Uber CEO says that they have not found any evidence of anyone using the information maliciously. He also says the company paid the hackers $100,000 to destroy the info. Brad Larson is here. He is the morning anchor of Fox News Headlines 24-7 and a Fox technology reporter. Uh, okay, so <laughs> our emails, our customer names, our phone right. numbers are out. They pay $100,000. It's hush money, and yeah. it's okay? From a year no. ago. So this happened a year ago. And 48 states have laws about data breaches and how you have to tell your customers about them. California, where Uber is based, right. if it's more than 500 users that have had their data compromised, you have to let them know in as timely a, mash as timely a fashion as possible. Yeah. Well, waiting a year is not very timely. So that is going to be a problem for Uber going forward. And this comes on the heels of Uber having several other problems. They settled a huge FTC complaint. What's, what's shocking to me is that they actually paid the hackers. Normally, the government says, don't do that, because right. that creates a business model for hackers. They get in, they take your data, it becomes ransomware. They say, if you want to see this data ever again, you're going to have to give us a lot of money. They did that to Netflix and HBO, and Netflix and HBO said, we're not going to pay you, and nothing came of it. You I know, mean, it's like somebody getting else. kidnapped and paying ransom money. Now, they paid them the ransom money, and right. they never did use the information maliciously. Correct. But what if, God forbid, they did? Could you imagine 57 million customers? Exactly. All of a sudden, all our personal information is right. out there, and you paid $100,000 and think that's good enough? And all the bad press you're getting. And of, that, of the data that was compromised, 7 million of it was of their drivers, and more than half a million of their drivers, their driver's license numbers were in that data breach. Now, now, Uber has said, look, it's, it's the names, it's the email addresses, it's your phone number. That's not the end of the world. But that is actually bad data to have floating around right. out there in the hands of hackers. The hackers could have said, yeah, sure, of course we deleted the data. And maybe it's saved somewhere else. So how else. do we These know that our data know. is not still out there? We, we don't know that. We're, we're relying on the tr reported trust of hackers who have gotten in and, and breached your, your systems to steal all of this data. I mean, the fortunate thing is that social security numbers, bank account numbers, right. that sort no of thing. Credit because, card I mean, we all have our telephone <laughs> oh, and our bank it, account it and my credit card information stored right. on every single car app. Um, right. And with all the competition and all the mess ups that Uber right. has done, I mean, where does a customer get out of this? Nothing. This, this is really what's so frustrating about these hacking stories. As a consumer, there is literally nothing you can do to prevent it. Oh, you I know. Call Lyft. On yeah. Call Via. Well, you get, yeah, exactly. And Call then, Juno. I mean, there's a million other right. services. And this is where companies are going to have to step up their efforts at protecting their consumers' data because the, ultimately you're going to have to make the choice. Am I going to go with a company that had a data breach or am I going to go with a company that thus far yeah. hasn't had Ugh, a massive data It's such data a hard, breach. you know, rock between a hard place because this year, yeah. this week rather, they're offering me a 60% discount so my cars have been $1.50. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and continue so to super, use it. Super Super yeah. saving money, but you could but, potentially have all of your information. Yeah, stolen. I mean, the CEO comes out, and here's the statement that the CEO says. I want to put it up on the screen. Basically taking full responsibility for the cybersecurity moving, moving forward. He says, while I can't erase the past, I can commit on behalf of every Uber employee that we will learn from our mistakes. Now, this Uber CEO is the new one because the last, the last one got one was, canned. Was um, they have a great yeah. record. Um, so in August, he took over. Correct. Now, let's just remember that, that Uber's record of hiring, first of all, mm -hmm. is quite scary, considering New York City's biggest terror attack since 9-11 was right. an Uber driver. It was an and Uber it just driver. kind of raises the risk of, when I get into an Uber, am I safe? Right. And when does the CEO actually take responsibility? And the CEO, the previous CEO, got in an argument with an Uber driver and was caught on camera. So this is, <laughs> this is like several strikes against yeah. Uber. Uh, you know, we're seeing a lot of this culture in, some, in these startups. It's, it's not necessarily paying attention to the barn door when, mm. you, you know, it's, it's the fox guard, guarding the hen house, as, yeah. they, as they say. And, and that's not to say that Uber has oversight or has overlooked yeah. their security practices, but clearly 
they left something open and someone was able to get into it and yeah. that's bad for consumers and it is also very bad for uber several states attorneys general have already stepped right. forward with lawsuits including massachusetts new york and california so yep. going forward it's going to be tough for them yeah and, i mean they are a big company terrible. but they're a big company so this right. could have happened to any other company for the right. record i mean if they can hack into uber they can hack into anyone else they really can they chose anything. uber because it is the most well recognized exactly it's, worldwide it's why you have problems with windows and not macintosh there's oh, more users yeah that is true. I'm still trying to break into Apple. I'm just not very Apple friendly. <laughs> it's really easy. I know, but I'm old. All right, Brett Larson, good to see you. Good to see, good you, to see you in here.